Today we'll be solving for x in the equation x plus 5 over x plus 4 plus 8 over x squared minus 16 equals negative 5 over x minus 4. Our first step is to take the x squared minus 16 in the denominator and factor it. These are two perfect squares, so this is the difference of squares. We can call this x plus 4 times x minus 4. Now we see that in our denominator, to get all of it to cancel, we need to multiply both sides by x plus 4 times x minus 4. And we have to do so on both sides. So on the left, when we multiply this whole quantity by the first term, the x plus 4 will cancel, leaving us with the quantity x plus 5 times x minus 4. On the second term, the denominator will cancel completely, leaving us with just an 8. And on the right, the x minus 4s will cancel, leaving us with negative 5 times x plus 4. Now, foiling out our binomials on the left gives us x squared plus x minus 20. We still have that plus 8. And distributing the negative 5 gives us negative 5x minus 20. So to combine like terms, on the left, we're combining the negative 20 and the 8. Now, in order to factor this quadratic, we want to get all of our terms on one side and 0 on the other. So we're moving that 5x over and moving our 20 over. And we get x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Now, the factors of 8 that make 6 are 4 and 2. So we get x plus 4 times x plus 2 equals 0. Taking turns setting them each equal to 0, our solutions are negative 4 or negative 2. Now we need to check these to see if either of them are extraneous. We'll plug in a negative 4 everywhere we see an x. So negative 4 plus 5 over negative 4 plus 4 plus 8 over negative 4 squared minus 16 equals negative 5 over negative 4 minus 4. Now when we work this out on the left, right away we're going to get a denominator of 0. We can't divide by 0, so that makes negative 4 extraneous. We have to do the same with negative 2. Plug it back in to make sure that it works. And on the right, we get negative 5 over negative 2 minus 4. Remember, we can't move anything across the equal sign. We have to work this out. We get 3 over 2 plus 8 over negative 2 squared is 4 minus 16 is negative 12 equals negative 5 over negative 6. Now we can give our denominator of 2 a denominator of 6 by multiplying the top and bottom by 3 and we can divide 8 and negative 12 both by 2 to give us a denominator of 6. We did that because on the right side there was a denominator of 6. This gives us 5 over 6 equals 5 over 6, which is true. So negative 2 is our only solution.